Alrighty, here's how you can get the SD card out of a Tesla MCU One unit. So this is a partially stripped down one, just so I can show you what's going on. There are two ways. If you are feeling dexterous, you can go in here and there is an SD card. It's held in by some Captain tape, which you can cut with sharp blade and then click the SD card out, same as you would in more or less any other situation. And you wanna be sure you get it with some needle nose pliers and don't drop it. The other way, or if you do drop it, is that you have to, you don't have to remove that bit of plastic, but I did. So you need to remove the screen from the MCU. I can't take this off single-handed, so there we go. So, so there, I've taken the screen off and turned it over, revealing this. You then need to remove this many little standoffs, screws, more standoffs. Yeah, there we go standoffs. You have to take out the fan for the Tegra. So some of the standoffs remove the fan for the Tegra, that thing from here. Some of the standoffs hold this down. The whole point is that the standoffs, you don't need to remove these components as such, but these standoffs clamp the board into the frame and you need to lift the board. So once you've taken all the screws out, there's a few sneaky ones in the middle of the board as well. You then unplug this and then carefully, sorry, unplug both of those, carefully lift this up and pivot it so that you don't damage this ribbon. And there's also a ribbon in the back that you don't want to damage. So there's a, the ribbon in the back goes to this port here, which you can see is screwed in. All these other connectors are hard onto the back of the board. And so when you're lifting the board out, you need to take them out. So there are your two options for getting an SD card out. Um, hope this has been useful.